Welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we discuss a new topic and it is related with the analysis of frames with sway when all columns in a story have same height okay so while doing this type of problems like the frames with sway conditions we have to follow the steps and it is also similar to the previous cases for the continuous beams first you will calculate the fixed end moment then the second the rotation factor then the third one a new term that is called a displacement factor and the fourth one is the iteration process iteration and the fifth one the final moment okay so actually what do you mean by this term when all columns in a story having same height okay so we will discuss about this term while doing problems so now we move on to our today's topic so analyze the rigid frame using the canis method so here you can observe that the height of this frame here if you observe that here it is 3 meter and here is also 3 meter so both the heights are same so and here you can observe that a 50 kilo newton is acting and a 20 kilo newton per meter udl is acting over the span bc and also check out the moment of inertia here it is i and here is also i then bc it is 2i then the span is going to be 6 meter and here already mentioned 3 meter so first step to calculate the fixed end moment okay fixed end moment uh, it is only going to happen over the bc portion why ab and b ab portion and cd portion there is no loads are acting so the value of fixed end moment for the ab and the cd it is going to be zero and here you can note down the fixed end moment for the bc portion and cb portion that is minus w l square by 12 you will get minus 60 kilo newton meter this unit is very important and already mentioned the fixed end moment for the rest of the members are going to be zero since there is no load I, load is acting then coming to the rotation factor and here you can note down that all the foreign is going to be fixed so you can use this equation 4ei by l and also note down that this 2i for this bc and cb to be note down and after that k by sigma k you will get this values and for calculating this rotation factor the equation is going to be minus 1 by 2 multiplied by k by sigma k then you will get minus 0 0.25 here minus 0 0.25 again minus 0 0.25 and here also minus 0 0.25 okay so our next step is to calculate the displacement factor a new term here you are going to study and the general equation is going to be minus 3 by 2 multiplied by k by sigma k and here you, you have to take this displacement factor for the members a b and d c that is that vertical members okay you have to take the displacement factor for the vertical members and here a term called story is given since here we are only considering one story only if there is one more story then it is going to be two so here only we consider only one story members and the members you have to consider that is a vertical member or column portion that is a b and d c so in this case the k is going to be for a by l both the cases the foreign is going to be fixed so you can use this for a by l and uh, sigma k it is going to be 80 a by l and after that displacement factor you can calculate as minus 3 by 2 multiplied by k by sigma k okay then one more step that is very important that is the story moment that is you have to calculate all the shear forces acting over this particular frame so here you can note down that a 50 kN is only acting over this particular case if you consider the question there is only 50 kN is acting and its distance this sf represents this so, uh, force represents or the horizontal total horizontal forces that is 50 then this hr represents the vertical distance that is in this case it is going to be 3 meter and this 
general equation that is you have to follow the summation of horizontal forces multiplied by the distance by 3. So here you will get 50 kN meter. This value is also very important for the calculation. Okay. Then there is a term called displacement contribution. While doing problems, you will get more clarity regarding how to apply those equations. Displacement contribution is going to be displacement factor multiplied by the story moment plus the rotation contributions at the top and bottom end of the columns. Okay, so this is the step. While doing the calculation, you will get more clarity. So now we move on to the next case that is the iteration process or the different cycles. So here you can check out you have to draw the diagram in this way that is your diagram is in this format. So you have to draw your diagram and here you have to mark the rotation factor here and here the fixed and moment values is this fixed and moment values is only for this BC portion only that is minus 60 and plus 60 is here. Then here only this minus 60 so you can directly apply over here and this plus 60 over here. Then this rotation factor is played here. Then what is our next step? To calculate the near and contributions for that. How to find out this 50? How you got this 50 for that? You will take this minus 0.25 multiplied by minus 0.25 multiplied by summation of moments at the joint B minus 60 plus here it is 0 in the initial case here also 0 so 0 plus 0 you will get the final the value as 15 and in this case also you will get 15 since it is also minus 0.25 and here how you got this minus 18.75 take your calculator and please do the work that is minus 0.25 multiplied by the center value that is 60 sum of moments at the center uh, joint c it is 60 then the foreign moments that is plus 15 you have to take then here it is going to be zero so you will get this minus 18.75 and here also the same procedure repeating the rotation factor is same at the both then both the sides minus 0.25 so you will get this minus 18.75 after that you have to go to the displacement contribution procedure okay. so some points is you have to note down this displacement factor at both the sides that is minus 0.75 to both the sides then you have to apply the equation that is displacement factor multiplied by here in this case the displacement factor is going to be minus 0.75 multiplied by minus 0.75 multiplied by the values the story moment here it is going to be 50 so 50 plus then the rotation contribution that is going to be 15 in this case at this joint b then here then the bottom it is going to be zero so you can write down zero here then you have to write down this value okay rotation contribution for this my uh, joint c that is minus 18.75 then at the bottom it is going to be zero so you will if you multiply those values you will get minus 34.69 and here also the same value you will get so while calculating you have to check out both this a b portion and this c d portion then only you will get this final value that is minus 34.69. So now we please go through the equation that is displacement factor multiplied by the story moment plus summation of rotation contribution at the top and bottom end of the columns. Each columns you have to calculate that is minus 0.75 multiplied by minus 0.75 multiplied by 50 that is story moment. Then again. 15 already we calculated this is going to be 0 at the joint A. Then the C at the joint C you can observe minus 18.75. Then again 0 you will get this minus 34.69. Same value you will obtain over the CD portion also the same calculation. 
okay this uh, displacement factor is same in this case also so you will get the minus 34.69 now calculate the second cycle now you are going to calculate the second cycle so this how you got this value 28.36 so there is the application of this displacement values okay displacement contribution values application is going to happen here so the rotation factor that is minus 0.25 multiplied by minus 60 sum of moments at the joint b then you have to take the foreign moments that is zero then you have to take the foreign moment that is minus 18.75 then minus 18.75 plus then you have to calculate you have to add up this value that is minus 34.69 also then only you will get this 28.36 okay so while calculating this value in the initial case there is no value that's why we are not adding actually okay actually in the first case also uh, the, actually we didn't calculate since there is no value added in the first case okay actually the first case the value is going to be zero so in the second cycle onwards there is a value of displacement contribution so that also you have to add up here okay so similarly you will get this 28.36 here also then coming to this portion how you got this minus 13.42 again check out the values that is minus 0.25 rotation factor multiplied by 60 then the foreign moment here it is going to be zero then you have to calculate add up this value that is 28 point foreign moment 28.36 then you have to take this value that is minus 34.69 okay so you will get this value that is minus 13.42 if you add up those values and similarly here also you will get the same value and after that you have to calculate the next one that is displacement contribution that is again minus 0.75 multiplied by the sum of moment story moment that is going to be 50 plus then in the moment next you have to take this 28.36 then here you have to consider minus 13.42 you will get this minus 48.70 at the both the sides the same procedures again you have to repeat over here and after fourth iteration you can wind up and here you will get 30.75 here also 30.75 minus 9.55 here also minus 9.55 and here you can consider the final value as minus 53.40 and here also minus 53.40 okay the final iteration values are very important for the final calculations okay so from this table you can see that the first of all the joints is a b c and d you have to mark then a b c and d then the members that is a b b a b c and c b c d and d c fixed end moment is only for this b c and c b portion after that the near end contribution you are multiplying directly with the, all the values as you have taken in the initial case it is going to be zero then here two multiplied by the what values you got that is 13.75 from uh, for the portions b a and b c and here minus 9.55 and minus 9.55 you can take down those values and here it is going to be zero after that the foreign contribution you have to take the half the values that is if a m moment is applied or a uh, when the foreign is going to be fixed m by 2 is going to happen so 30.75 here and if you observe here it is going to be 30.75 then here it is going to be minus 9.55 here also minus 9.55 here it is going to be zero after that you have to add up these values that is displacement contribution values also so if you add up in the both the cases a b and b a portion you will have you will have minus 53.40 here also minus 53.40 in the case of the horizontal members that is bc and cb there is no values here also td and dc also same values after that you have to add up all those columns values and finally you will get 
the values is in this format and the unit is also very important okay so this is your final moment and with the help of this values you can easily calculate the bending moment diagram also you can easily draw and also with the help of these values you can calculate the reactions and with the help of reactions you can draw the shear force diagram okay so with this we will wind up today's session thank you very much Thank you.